Hello students, so let's try to solve one more problem from introduction of quantum mechanics by DJ Griffith and this is problem number 2.37 and this is really wonderful problem. So this is again from the particle in infinite square well. So the potential is given, this is the very usual potential when the potential is zero, when x is between zero to a and infinite otherwise. It has given the initial wave function, that means psi as a function of uh, at t is equal to 0, psi x as a function at t is equal to 0 is given a sin cube pi x by a when x is between 0 to a. So what we have to do, we have to find the value of a. So obviously, this we have to find the value of a such that it will behave like a normalized wave function. And obviously, then we have to write the expression of psi x t and then we have to find average value of x as a function of time. So, then obviously what will be the average value of energy and all this thing, we can easily calculate from this particular wave function. So, let us try to calculate this particular problem, okay. Let's try to go for this one. So, so in this problem, what is given, the psi x0 is given as a sin cube phi x upon a where x is between 0 to a and 0 otherwise. So we have to find the value of a. So but before going to find the value of a as we have seen that we have to also see how the state is evolving with the time then obviously what we have to do, we have to write this particular function in a basis of energy eigenstate or a stationary state for a system. So what is the stationary state? The stationary state for this particular system is equal to root 2 by a sin n pi x upon a where x is between 0 to a and 0 otherwise. And what is value of n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. And here what we can do, we can easily write any power of sine function as a function of sine n theta. So let's see how we can go for it. So here is the mother uh, equation. We can write sine 3 theta and this sine 3 theta is equal to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. So we have to use this particular formula. So from there, what I can write, I can write a sin cube pi x by a can be written as and here my theta is nothing but pi x by a which is equivalent to 3 into a sin pi x upon a minus you have sin 3 pi x upon a and here we have 3 upon 4a and here we have 1 upon 4a. So he, this I can represent like in a basis of some sine function. What we can do, we can do some manipulation and we can write in term of phi 1 and phi 3. So what will be that manipulation? So I can take a outside and we have 3 upon 4 and we have root 2 upon a sin pi x upon a minus 1 upon 4 we have root 2 upon a sin 3 pi x upon a and hence we have multiplied with root 2 upon a then we have to divide it with also so this value is root a upon 2. So what will happen? we can write this function as a into root a by 2 into 3 by 4 pi 1 minus 1 by 4 pi 3. So here we can write each and everything in a ket form. form And this is all about at t is equal to 0. Now, we have to go for the normalization. So once we will for the normalization, we have psi, psi must be equal to 1. So what we have, we have a square into a by 2 into we have 
9 upon 16 plus 1 upon 16 must be equal to 1. And from there, we have a square into a into here we have 16 and that value is equal to 5 upon 16. So what will be value of that value is equal to a. So a is equal to 16 upon 5a to the power 1 by 2 and that a is equal to 4 upon root under 5a. So this is my value of a. So once we have this value of a, then we can see this can be easily normalized. So normalization constant a is 4 upon 5 root a. So this will be root a. So let's try to go for next slide. So when we will go for next slide, then at t is equal to 0, I have psi x 0. And this psi x 0, we can easily write. We, when we will put the value of a, then we have 3 upon root 10 pi 1 minus we have 1 upon root 10 pi 3. So this is at t is equal to 0. So now uh, we have just put the value of a and you can easily find this particular number. And yes, you can see 9 by 10 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 1. So this wave function is normalized. And next what we have to do, we have to just go for at t is equal to t, we can define psi xt. So when we are going to define psi xt, this value is equal to 3 upon root 10 pi 1 e to the power minus i e1 t upon h cut. And this value is equal to minus 1 upon root 10 pi 3 e to the power minus i e3 t upon h cut. And what will be your e1? e1 is equal to pi square h cut square upon 2ma square. I can write it something like e0 and e3 is equal to 9 pi square h cut square upon 2ma square. I will write this value as 9 e0. So what will be psi xt? The psi xt is basically root 3 upon root 10 pi 1 e to the power minus i e naught t upon h cut minus 1 upon root 10 pi 3 e to the power minus i 9 e naught t upon h cut. So this is your psi t. Next, what we have to do? We have to calculate average value of x on the state psi t. So what will be average value of x? So when we will go for average value of x, psi x psi at t is equal to t. So we have to take this one. That value is basically 9 upon 10 pi 1 x pi 1 plus we have 1 upon 10. That value is pi 3 x pi 3. And next level is equal to, next value is basically, we have to go for the cross term. So when we will go for cross term, then we have two time, we have, and uh, this number will come outside. So 3 upon root 10 into 1 upon root 10. And what we have, we have basically pi 1 x pi 3, 2 times is there because pi 3 x pi 1 and pi 1 x pi 3 have same integration. And then we have cos function. So what will be that cos function? Cos 8 e naught t upon h cut. So you can just go and do this calculation with yourself. This we have done earlier this calculation into last problem. So what is this value? This value is equal to a by 2, we know that the average value of x in a ground state is nothing but the center of the box, that is a by 2. This value is equal to also a by 2 with the same logic. But what we have to do, we have to just go and calculate this particular value. And once we are going to calculate this particular value, pi 1 x pi 3, that value is equal to basically 2 by a integration x sine pi x by a and sine 3 pi x by a dx we have to go for 0 to a and what you will find 
you will find once you will go for this integration, you have to just break into two part, that value is equal to 2 by a, integration 0 to a, x cos 2 pi x upon a minus 0 to into dx is also there, 0 to a, x cos 4 pi x upon a. And fortunately, once you will go for this integration, this both term will be 0. So, this term will be also 0. This term will be also 0. You can just easily say, once you will go for by parts, the sine function will be there. And again, you will go for the last integration. Again, sine function will be there. So, sine 0 and sine a in both sine 0 and sine n pi, both have, you have 0 value. So, this integration is going to vanish. So, what you have? You have average value of x, but that means psi x psi at t is equal to t is equal to your a by 2 into 9 by 10 plus a by 2 into 1 by 10. So, this value is equal to nothing but a by 2 because 9 by 10 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 1. This value is a by 2. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. In the last problem, what we have seen that it will function of t, but hence we have this all 1 and 3 combination with the x, this integration will have different role. So, this is your average value of x and now we can easily find the average value of energy also. So, we will just go for this. So, what is my psi? xt, the psi xt is equal to 3 upon root 10 pi 1 e to the power minus i e naught t upon h cut minus 1 upon root 10 pi 3 e to the power minus i 8, sorry 9 e naught upon h cut. So, this value is equal to minus i 9 e naught t upon h cut. So, what will be average value of Hamiltonian that is average value of energy and this value is equal to this will be 3 upon root 10. So, that value is 3 square upon 10 into E naught plus 1 by 10 into 9 E naught. So, what is this value? So, we can just go for 10 that is 9 plus 9 is equal to 18 E naught that means 1.8 e naught is the average value where e naught is pi square h square to square upon 2 m a square. So, you have 18 upon 10 into pi square h square to square upon 2 m a square. So, this value is equal to 9 upon 10 pi square h square to square upon m a square. So, this is your Value, average value of energy. So, yes, once your postulates is clear, you can do mathematics in a very sharp manner and mainly what you have to do, the main thing is how you are going to do this particular integration. This is very simple. So, you have to always check whether that integration will survive or not survive. So, this is one of the very fundamental integration. You have to just go for integration by parts and you can easily solve this problem. If you know what will be the postulates uh, related to Schrodinger wave equation and the time evolution of Schrodinger wave equation. Thank you.